Hello, and welcome back to Age of Wonders 2, the Wizard's Throne campaign. Uh, today, we're starting the campaign proper, so we finished the tutorial, which doesn't really matter as far as saved games go, and we'll be starting Fire Sphere, Episode 1. Fire. Initiation phase. Or the initiation phase, I suppose. The desire for vengeance burns within me. Did I choose this place, or did Gabriel? I had family in this desert. I was born here. And here I am reborn. I lived here when times were pleasant, before demon cats slaughtered my people. I have tried to rouse them to fight back, but they fear the cat people and their fire god, Yaka. I will dispel their superstition and gain their trust. Hmm. Emphasis on the second syllable, Yaka. Okay. I'll probably just call him Yaka, because that's what I'm used to calling him. All right, so... Uh... Looks like we actually do get to pick our starting trait here. Uh, I'm just going to stick with Channeler because that's what the character has by default. So 10% less mana cost for spellcasting and reduces casting points as well. Uh, if you were trying to min-max things, probably Scholar would be the best one. Because not only spells, but also additional skills like these uh, get cheaper. I guess it's a weaker start, but it um, is more efficient in the long run. I don't know. Uh, but this is fine. Uh, we could take a, a penalty as well, a vice, and then get a second buff, but I'm not going to bother. So we were playing as the humans, fire, um, and difficulty. So I did mention this briefly. Wait, there are two difficulties below normal? Uh, normally I play this difficult, uh, these games on hard, Rage Wonders, but I'm going to be going with normal through this playthrough just because the combat in this game, I'm just not really all that interested in grinding out a bunch of you know, long fights. And we'll go classic, just because that's my personal preference. All right. Who dares to sneak through my domain? Ah, Gabriel must have sent you. The old fool should have known better than to send a human. Prepare to burn. Your journey starts here. Contact the refugees that are scattered. Stick together, because there are scavengers about. Okay. Right, so they did mention the demon cats. Uh, the Tigrans are a new race in Age of Wonders 2. You'll probably be familiar with them if you've played the Age of Wonders 3 um, Eternal Lords DLC, I think, they were added in. The final DLC for that game. Uh, anyway, what we have here is the city of Kinger lies in ruins. We have, yeah, a destroyed city. Okay. Also, this screen is way smaller than I remember. I wonder if that was improved in... Um, in Shadow Magic, or if it's just because I'm playing in windowed mode, and this is the only resolution I'm able to play in windowed mode on, for whatever reason, uh, that I've seen. Anyway, we have uh, refugees here. I assume that what's going to happen is if I try to talk to them, yeah, I just get to have them join me. So let's grab the knight. This is a pretty strong unit. For zero gold. Okay, we'll take those. And they've joined me. Okay, so we'll take this cavalry. Human survivors. Glad you made it out as well. This place is still crawling with cats. And we have fire here. Hold on. Can I... Okay, I can't see their domain. So I can't tell at a glance whether their domain is down this way or up this way. I'm assuming it's down. Uh, okay, a yeah. party leaves the domain of Yaka, okay. So yeah, there's all these uh, destroyed buildings everywhere, which is not great. So we need to find a settlement here. Ah. Okay, a watchtower that hasn't been raised, that'll... Help us out here. See, okay, there's a mine over here and another refugee. Guess we'll send Merlin out that way. And then you. And at this point, we're just looking for something to work with. Oh, another refugee here. Smashbuckler, nice. 
So the humans in the Age of Wonders franchise, uh, this is something that I've always kind of liked about them, was that they aren't just the generic fantasy humans where you're, you know, the default that every other race is compared to. Instead, the humans actually have a distinct culture and um, theme, I guess, to them, which is that they are seafarers. So we have, uh, we saw in the opening cinematic, um, sorry, I'll, I'll finish this thought and then I'll continue here. Now we saw in the opening cin cinematic that we had an airship. That's the ultimate human unit in this game. Uh, every race, because there are no classes or secret projects or anything like that, you just have your your race decides sort of your entire build tree in this game. That was true for the first two Age of Wonders. And so each race has an ultimate unit. Oh, this looks like a structure down here we can go for. Okay. And uh, so, yeah, for the humans, it's the airship. And then they also have sort of an aquatic uh, calling. Uh, before we... Before we look at any of this, actually, let's look at what spells we started with. So we are playing Fire, so in the tutorial we were Cosmos, we had access to all the spells. But in this case, we only have access to Fire and Cosmos, I believe. So Hellhound is our global. Fury. Okay. And Blazing Comet, so yeah, a lot of Fire here. And then here we can see, yeah, Enchant, Weapon, Alter Node, Dispel Magic, City Spy, Call Hero, I think these are all... Uh, Cosmos spells, and then we have three fire spells as well. Do you want to go with Skin of Oil? Inflicts minus one to a bunch of stats and also fire weakness. It's alright. I'm going to take Alter Node from the start. Just because eventually that will translate into, uh, into uh, a research and mana bonus. But we can see like, our mana resources are Pretty limited here to start. Alright, let's grab the swashbuckler. Hey look, a ship to the northeast. Traveling along the river should be much safer than walking over land. Uh oh. Is this a lurker? Ah, uh, stats aren't that strong. Uh, 10 experience only, so I'm guessing it's a tier 1 water summon. Hmm. Not a lot going on here. Uh, oh, we do get to see this, though. Okay, so we definitely want to consolidate our forces and attack that city as soon as we can. Uh, does this do anything? Oh. For 130 gold, they offer to join you. Uh, that looks pretty nice. Campsite. Swell so party is set up the camp here. They will either join you or fight you. Okay, I mean, this by itself should be more than enough to take that out. So we've got a monk, which is a healer. Uh, this is something interesting about the support units in this game, is that each race doesn't have a dedicated priest unit anymore. Uh, instead, we just have good, neutral, and evil versions of these priest-type units. So all neutral, all neutral players will get access to the monk, I believe. If my memory is uh, serving me on that one. Ah, okay. Got two fire cats here. A fire node. Definitely want that. Uh, let's just consolidate. Here. Well, let's uh, send... Oh, Merlin can't make it. Well, next turn we'll grab the mine and the crossbowman, and then we'll send Merlin towards the tower, because we definitely want Merlin sitting in that wizard tower, if possible. Okay, so if I take my knight... Oh, I can communicate with it. Or a swashbuckler who can swim would be another option. Well, let's, uh, let's do the swashbuckler. And I guess... Hmm... Take a look, see what we can see from this watchtower. There's an item down there. City of Syndra watches over the southern desert. Syndra, okay. And then down here, there's another mine, okay. 
Yeah, so this shouldn't be... Shouldn't be too hard. Uh, I'm just trusting that knight to not die if they attack it. I think that I'll be decently strong. Hmm. Okay, I guess we probably want to send the swashbuckler just to explore the river, get some random stuff. Uh, we do have vision on this. So yeah, the swashbuckler will just pick up random pickups on the river, I guess. Uh, spells, we do not have enough mana for a single Hellhound, and also not enough upkeep. Yeah, we really need more mana. As expected, if you don't have a single city, turns out you're pretty weak. Uh, okay, they built a Halberdier. Hmm. But you should be able to... well. Oh, a teleporter. Hmm. Also, it looks like we have to walk through poison plants to get access to the desert here. Maybe not down that way. Well, I want that, but we'll grab it on the following turn, I guess? Um... Yeah, we are adjacent. Grab the mine. Alright, let's do our first fight. Um, actually, before we do that, can we move Merlin into range so that we can cast spells? 32. Probably not. Yeah, okay. Our uh, domain is out of range, so no spell for us in this fight. Twenty-four, thirty. Okay, wizards actually walk pretty fast. Yep, that's what swimming looks like. So we're playing through the campaign on normal. Uh, I'm expecting this to be a fairly casual experience, but uh, I'm just trying to do this to fill in the gaps in my... Wait, oh my god, why did I do that? Talking, oh well. We uh, missed a turn and they got an extra halberdier. That was really bad. Oh, and then I could have moved. I could have moved Merlin. Oh, man. Yep, talking, talking, and playing. Apparently I lack the ability to do this thing. Alright, so this is combat. Uh, before we get into that, let's just stop doing inputs and finish my thought. Yeah, so I'm playing the game on normal because I just want to get the, ex the story experience because it's the one game in the campaign that I haven't experienced the story on. Alright, fire crossbow. 95% chance to hit. I probably 90% chance to hit on the halberdiers. Probably want to go for the halberdiers because they have first strike. So killing them as opposed to this thing, which I mean, if I guess we compare their stats. Yeah, the hunter is way stronger than the halberdier just in terms of raw stats, but it doesn't have um, first strike. Also, do Cavalry get, um, I guess Evolve is, oh, it is a thing, because the, the Draconians have it, I think. Uh, some Draconian units, but yeah, we don't have the Cavalry upgrading to Knights in this version of the game, I don't think. Alright, well. Okay, so your, your movement points are being consumed. Man. So, does First Strike negate charge? They don't have the pull arm ability, so... We should be decently strong here. Hmm. Do you get more than two? You do not. So from here... I'm not sure if you can attack. Uh, you have you. Okay. Oh, 
that answers that. Alright. Missed with a 90%? Of course. Uh, we can see down here what the odds of hitting are. 75. Yeah, and you're up to 10 experience. So I guess we're hoping to get you something here. Hmm. So because I have first strike, I can uh, hit them like that, and... Yeah, and like that, they get the first strike. So yeah, two units with first strike, the one that has first strike cancels out the other one. It's as if neither of them did. And I guess we'll send the cavalry out that way. Anybody else? Oh, you still have moves. You're kind of injured. Let's, um, let's move you back. Okay, how are we looking in terms of health? You've taken five, so you're the most injured. Healing is a once per battle action, which is worth no experience. You only get experience for killing in this game. So I guess letting them build those units was more experience for me, technically, but I would have rather just had the town earlier. And hey, our income is no longer negative. You coward. You got that small victory only by surprising me, you filthy humans. Do not deserve the power of the flame. You deserve to be consumed by the fire. Yes. Okay, we'll look at that in a moment. Now let's continue with our fights. Grab the fire node. Oh, well that's a good start. Just lose a unit. Not a lot we can do about that. Hmm. That was a full health unit too, wasn't it? Because I just healed it. Well, we're probably going to lose another one coming in, too. Can we reach them? No. Well. I guess we just charge with everybody. Um. Hmm. If they kill my halberdiers, it's not the, the end of the world. So if I move here, I should still be able to Magic Bolt. 7% chance to hit. 17. Okay, I mean, that's something. Twenty-five. One damage. Okay. And those do a lot of damage. It doesn't actually say what the, uh... Marvel damages, does it? Yikes. Well. It's one down. Uh, healing. Oh, we already used. This is a. Uh, oh, not once per battle. This is once per turn. Okay. Well, that was a little bit scarier. Yeah, and one of the reasons that combat in this game is a little bit sketchy is just that you start so close to each other, you can see they were able to hit me before I even had an action in that battle. I had already lost a unit. Uh, anyway, we grabbed our fire nodes, so that's good, I guess. Uh, reflecting pool, that's... Uh, a structure that we want to flag. Give us some more vision. And suddenly our mana and research and stuff are looking a lot better. Alright, well not a whole lot to do up here. We, uh, oh we can cross mountains, right, it's just super slow. That was only in the first game where you needed the mountaineering skill to cross a mountain. Hmm. Oh, it's a reflecting pool, okay. For some reason I thought it was a mine. I guess there's not really any reason to 
Uh, attack it then. I mean, we could have these two units attack together. And okay, they flagged the mine. Good for them. Okay, before I hit enter, and let's actually do all of our actions here. So we have a village with a wizard's tower. So yeah, so we can produce halberdiers in one turn. Is there a way to check? Yes, okay, humans. So the human bonus is production. Humans build things faster. Every race has a unique bonus. For Tigrans, I believe it's gold. So I think the enemy's going to be making more. Uh, but let's just do the old Builder's Hall start. We get the Builder's Hall so we can build everything faster. And no longer in the negative. Excellent. So Alter Node is looking less useful given that the only node that we've found so far is a Fire Node. Oh. Okay, reflecting surface of the pool reveals distant lands. Uh, first of all, anything out here doesn't look like it. Yeah, so a reflecting pool just gives you a vision of every other reflecting pool. Uh, oh, here's a life node. Okay, we can convert that to fire. So if those are the only three, and there's a teleporter here, I guess we can't see. But I'm assuming these two teleporters uh, hook into each other. No. Okay. Oh, well, there's a road. Let's... Uh, water node. An apparition. Hello, Julia. So you have come. Outside of the Valley of Wonders, we have little power. Please take the city as a token of friendship to your hunted race. Who, who was that? That was the legendary Julia, queen of the Elven Court. It appears that the elves have not forgotten about you. Right, so at this point in the story, aside from the fact that humans are being persecuted, uh, the first game began with the humans coming by sea, invading the Elven Court, and basically killing King Inioch. And Inioch's children, Julia and Meandor, both survived and sort of formed their own factions. Julia uh, became uh, the Keepers, uh, joined with the Keepers, who were a group of good-aligned uh, wood elves, I guess you'd call them, which is what we're seeing here, an elf, elven village whose goal was to foster peace and sort of help repair people after the conflict, like repair, bring people back together, uh, all that sort of thing. And Meandor became a dark elf, going underground and vowing vengeance on humanity. So it's sort of where we are. Um, I guess the events of the first game, like that that's all pre-first game history. The events of the first game itself, um, you kind of get to... Uh, join either of those two factions and do a bunch of stuff, but I'm not sure that it actually had all that much of a resolution, now that I think about it. Hmm. It's more just starting to get acquainted with various characters, I suppose. Alright. Uh, we'll attack this, because I'm not too concerned about it, even though I maybe should be. Uh, if Merlin dies here, I lose. We can use my Blazing Comet spell. Cost me 7 mana, but we'll try it out. And Fire Crossbow, I think I can actually... Yeah, 75% chance to hit. We'll just shoot from range. Well, actually, we want to get the kill with the crossbowman if possible. 85, yeah, it's, it's 5 per tile. Uh, am I going to be blocking? Yeah, that's what I thought. Hmm.
Darn it. I was hoping to get the kill with the crossbowman for the experience. Not that it really matters, I guess. But... Uh, because our main wizard doesn't get experience, so him killing stuff is kind of pointless. But we'll make it uh, make it to the city next turn, which will be good. Alright. The nature spirit dwells in the life node. These spirits are perky. But they are a force to be reckoned with. Sometimes they could be unexpected allies. Yeah, so the spirits are an interesting idea. They're essentially this game's version of gods. Uh, and I'm not sure if it's ever actually explained what they are. They just kind of disappear in the third game, so... They just exist and then don't exist anymore, I guess. As for you guys... Do you want to go down this way? I mean, we have a pretty secure area here. So really, it's just a matter of what I want to do with these uh, these troops, and also if I want to run through the poison plants, which I guess maybe I do. Uh, you have not used your healing at this turn, but um, we're not in a fight, so maybe... Um, hmm. We'll see if uh, the unit just uses the healing, I guess, on the halberd here, because I'm going to be doing this. Great bow, archery. I can teleport that to Merlin at the cost of 66 mana. Okay, that was uh, probably not a good use of my mana, but we've done it. Uh, and that's something that I would rather have on a hero, I suppose. Hey, speaking of which, Belendor, human warrior. Offers for 125 gold. There's no upkeep once you've hired them, so they're just good to have. Uh, leadership just increases attack and defense of all, all units in your stack, so it's looking pretty decent. We'll accept. Whoops. And we'll have you in here. We're now in our wizard tower, and look at that beautiful domain. Wait. If I teleport, it's going to cost 50? Okay. Skip archery to our newly acquired hero. Hmm. So do we want to run through here? Or do we want to just meet up and go down the road? Uh, roads are faster anyway, so let's just... Consolidate our units here. And not take all the damage for walking through the poison plants. Free city, we'll take it. Hmm. Leads to the sister cities. The last patrol is not returned, be warned. Alright. So here we have, yeah, Elven bonus is mana, which is pretty nice. And we're going to go, but you can see that the Builder's Hall takes four turns instead of three because you don't get that production. Well, spent all our money, I guess. And yeah, we can't get there, so we need to send our Swashbuckler down here is what that's telling me. Sacred Woods. I think these don't hurt good aligned units. So our Glade Runners should be able to run through those without any issues. And do you have Forest Concealment? I guess it's just called Concealment. In vegetation on any terrain, yeah. Uh, do we send a hapless Glade Runner? Through the teleporter. Teleporter lies in ruins. Okay, so we can't go back. And here... Oh, we've got... Another city. And enter the domain of Yaka. Okay. Cities here. 
Hmm. As for you... Uh, we did not take damage, even though we're neutral. Maybe uh, Sacred Woods only hurts evil. That would be plausible. Ah. Alright, well. Exploring around. Swashbuckler, let's go here. And then I guess we'll take this teleporter and see where it goes. If we disembark some units here, we can reach the town of Kahari to the south. Hopefully it hasn't fallen to our enemy yet. Kahari. Ronga Rakulu. Uh, let's just have you face that way. I like I like you looking this way better. Okay, we built our builders hall. We can now make ballistas and pioneers. Uh, pioneers actually pretty good. Rebuild structure consumes the unit to rebuild a structure. Hmm. Well, I have no money. I guess I do have a lot of units, considering that I don't have a lot of cities. Alright, uh, this is going to be a little bit slow, but... Alright, are you guys... Yeah, you guys are healed up, okay. That looks like it might be a town. Let's just not get too close. Uh, as you can see, our domain is extended by our hero, so we definitely want to keep this unit alive. Hmm. Move you after the fact. Let's start with you. I guess we'll then move you in this direction. Just looking for mines or nodes or whatever. Um, I don't have enough mana to teleport that, I don't think. So let's just go up the road. See what we can see up here. Oh boy. Units. Catmaster, huh? This is their cavalry unit, I believe. Uh, Archer. So, I mean, I could take that mine. Is this vegetation? I don't know. Uh, looks like it, because you can see my unit is transparent now. So we're going to hide there. Hopefully we don't get attacked. Alright, so we've met a spirit. The spirit of nature gives us a quest. These, are, these uh, gods or spirits are essentially just quest givers. Uh, there are four of them in the game, and they all have different types of quests that they tend to give. But this is a scripted scenario one, it looks like. I weep as I see all this destruction. You fire wizards are a mean bunch, but I sense you may be different. If you raise the fire node that has corrupted a once beautiful oasis, you shall get a nice surprise from me. So she wants me to raise this fire node. kind of want to have a fire node, honestly. But... For the sake of a quest, maybe I will... Ooh, that's a nice city. Okay, never mind, we're not grabbing that stuff. And a Tigran city down there, it looks like. Hmm. So yeah, we will complete the quest, even though I'd rather have the mana. But the quest might be something good, especially if it's a scenario scripted quest. Really, it's faster to go around the cacti than through them? I was just curious if the cacti were going to do damage to me. They did not. Oh, 
They saw me. Yes, we will command the battle, but... I'm uh, always kind of... Things like concealment, it's like, does this really work against the AI? So, uh, the advantage of the Glade Runners is that they're super fast, but as you can see, these stats are even lower than my, uh... Than my Halberdier. So yeah, hiding behind the rocks so that it, um... Because they're both archer units. Yeah, hopefully they won't be able to see me. And then we'll go for the one thing we might be able to kill. Uh, of course, yeah, this has Strike. This Shredder, which is their Archer unit, I think has higher stats in melee than my Glade Runner. Hmm. This isn't good. Got attacked here by two Prowlers. Okay, well, we lit it on fire. That's good. Seventy percent. Don't really want to get any closer. Archery. Fifteen. Oh. No. Oh, lucky. Uh, are we in their domain? I don't know that we are. Maybe they can't cast spells. Seventy. Five, but if we still seventy-five, not taking any risks here. I don't want to lose my hero. All right, what's my archery here? Thirty-five percent. Do you have any resistance to that? Archery's attack eight. I guess it's just not a great skill. Hmm. Okay. Well, that was good, I guess. We got some experience on our hero. It's almost up a level. And uh, killed two units. But uh, definitely, I think we're just going to sit tight and not attack again. And not move forward, I mean. Because I really don't want to lose that hero. That was a little bit scary. Uh, neutral Tigran. Ah, and we get to negotiate. That's right. So something I can... A reputation weak. Powerful. Uh, player type. CPU Squire. Oh boy. Yeah, so his uh, ability is 50% more experience on killing units, which is pretty good. But, uh, yeah, so we can see our alignments here. This is what I was wanting to check. So I'm neutral, which, as you can see, gives me neutral with the elves. Uh, with the humans, my primarily human, so they like me. And with Tigrans, primarily races of Twilight, which is to say neutral. So, yeah, the Tigrans themselves are a neutral faction. So di diplomatically, there's no reason to be raising or migrating these Tigran towns or anything like that. Alright, grab those refugees, get to see a whole bunch of empty desert. But we do get three longbowmen. Which have the advantage of marksmanship, plus one attack and damage. So their archery is going to be significantly better than my hero. Uh, which is to be expected, I suppose. They are elves. They will have the better archery skills. And Okay, it looks like there might be one mine in the very last spot that I uh, explored and all that. Was it worth it? Maybe. Hmm. Well, we can send these uh, elves forward. I think we're going to keep them with the other unit, which is to say they are going to advance for now because they are slower and the cavalry will catch up to them. Okay, I see Akaz over here. Hmm, spells. 
Getting some decent mana going. Uh, research is still pretty slow. Uh, Altar node... I do own this, but it's outside of my domain, so I'm not going to be able to uh, transform it anyway, so this is kind of a waste of a research. Yeah, let's just get a Hellhound. I could adjust these if I wanted to. I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep it as is. I really should be getting Enchant Weapon. In fact, you know what? Let's just change it. The uh... Did I just lose my progress? Hmm. Whatever. I thought that it would be saved, but maybe not. Good to figure these things out early on, I guess. Okay, grab that mine, get some more income. And I guess we'll run you up this way. Three shredders, huh? Hunter is their basic... Their basic unit. And creature neutral. Morale terrible. Why? Hmm. Yeah, so the shredders aren't that strong. I probably just want to attack it, attack into this. If I wait a turn, I get a hellhound, but they might get another shredder. Uh, how strong are these? They're in free defense. Yeah, I mean. They're all right. Well. Is that crossbone already dead? Oh my god. Yeah, so these uh, Throw Blades, uh, I won't actually be able to see the stats on it, but Throw Blade is weaker than Archery. I believe it has, um, if it's like the later games, Throw Blade will have um, less of an obstacle penalty than Archery will. Alright, so what do we actually want to do here? Good start. Yeah, that might be better. You have strikes. So we'll take damage by doing that. Hmm. I think. Uh, these infantry have the block, which um, makes them actually pretty decent for dealing with archers. Oh, I didn't finish it off. But you should be not quite out of movement, I guess. Yeah, so it's going to do an attack. Retaliation didn't actually use up movement points. Interesting. Hmm. I don't really want to cast a spell, so I guess we'll just... Okay. Hmm. Yeah, you probably want to run away. You guys do have the strike ability. Okay, that was pretty good. And then for you... 
Hmm. So yeah, if you look at the stats here, obstacle 43, I'm likely to hit my own unit. I don't really need you to be doing anything. I don't want to retreat with you because I think you'll run out of movement if I do that. Alright, so let's... Uh... Uses up. Uh, getting you the experience would have been nice. I'm to level up my units, I guess. Is there anybody? Oh, this halberdier could. It's a little bit risky because you still have an action. Uh, let's just go with the hero. Okay, there we go. Nice, good progress. One thing I will say is that the manual combats in this game are a lot faster than in. Uh, other other games, which is kind of nice, I guess. Other games in the franchise. Alright, so... Where are you guys going? Let's go up this way. Oh, another destroyed city. Finally, some relief! Our thick walls have helped us hold off the Tigrans. And zero. Okay, and we actually get money out of that despite the uh, large number of troops. Do we want to continue going along the river with you? Oh, we have another swashbuckler here. wonder if there will be more goods to procure by going along the river. Well, I'd say this is fairly solidly under our control at this point. Uh, oh, we have a siege workshop here. Amazing. Got catapults. Master's Guild give us access to cannons. Uh, the Master Guild unit is unique, or not unique for a race. Um, there's a few options, but it will be dependent on your race, so humans get cannons. I don't remember what Tigrans got offhand. Probably Flame Tank, if I had to guess. Um, yeah, let's get a temple here, I guess, get some mana going. Hellhound is ready. Uh, our hero actually gets to level up, because this doesn't happen the turn that you level up, it happens between turns. Right, so block, as I was talking about on the inventory, is a really nice skill. So I could have four movement, which is a bit silly given that you already have 40, which is I think the fastest in the game. Yeah, more health is okay. Defense and resistance, both really good. I think I'm going to take this though, because it's going to make you more resistant to all your basic archery units. I guess not those fire cats, but Pretty much everything else. The shredders, uh, enemy archers and stuff. And also all the melee stuff. Um, so yeah, defense is solid, but I'm going to take block. Uh, Mirage builds the Builder's Hall. Uh, Builder's Hall can get a shipyard. Right, because they are uh, their fields are adjacent to water, so they can do that. Should give me access to some boats. Not really any reason to do this unless you want to build boats, which I don't. Uh, we could build something else here. I think we're just going to... Produce housing for a turn? Because I want to spend 150 on a Pioneer at my main human sit settlement. Hmm. I guess I've never tested out this teleporter. I'm assuming it'll send me back to here. But teleporters, I don't believe, actually have to send you to other teleporters in this game. They can send you anywhere. 
Alright. More refugees. Okay, this is silly. Come on. Come on, people. Move. Yeah, you guys can go through the forest. Because I had some units without forestry, it was thinking I wasn't wasn't able to move everybody through. Okay, we're getting quite the army here. We know that the Tigrans have units out in this direction. Do we want to just move everybody that way and then rely on the uh, the archers and that other cavalry to clean up behind us? I guess we will. Uh, should be able to do that. can cast anywhere in our domain, including our hero's party. Get ourselves a hellhound, which is not terrible morale. I wonder why the other one was. Hmm. Do I want to cast Fury on anybody? Not really. I don't like that minus two defense. That seems pretty sketchy. It is pretty powerful for a tier one buff. Yeah, Ballista... Blista super slow. And yes, it was necessary to reveal that. Are you guys not just not building anything? Okay, Pioneer. Which I don't think costs population in this game. Alright, we finished our builder's hall here. Right, your bonus is gold, I was correct. Okay. Well, let's get some more mana slash research going. Alright, we'll try this again, and uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be the full turn, but I won't change it this time. We'll see what it looks like after one turn, but I'm expecting it to be the full time, so do not change your research is the lesson that we're learning there. Ah, so we built our temple. Oh, it's only 5 mana, I thought it'd be 10. Oh, it increases happiness as well for what that's worth. Alright. So we have our shrines here. Spirit of War uh, gives us a free level on all our units. Order increases happiness and gives production. Nature increases growth and magic increases mana and research. I also believe that they don't like each other. Yeah, so this would produce priests and mana. So we could do one of these. These are also pretty expensive. Uh, I will probably go nature, just because we have that quest from the one nature already. Hmm. Well, we're poor. So let's just not build anything, I guess. Finish housing here. Uh, 19 unused research points converted to mana, right? That's a thing, too. So you don't have to micromanage your research and turn it down to the minimum possible to complete your research, which is nice. Some water for the weary desert traveler. Cheers. Defense, none. Okay. Well, we'll grab that with these units. And I guess you guys can come up this way, then. Grab that line for us. I am poor. 315, huh? That's expensive. Or we could just attack them. This is a pretty strong... Um, you know what? We'll uh, add that one more swashbuckler and then we'll attack. Uh, it does continue down that way, it looks like. Well, let's go up here. Uh, 
And I guess we can defend this for now. Anything out here? Nope. Yeah, so we can cross the mountain. No? I must have been thinking of... I must have miss, uh, miss seen something then. Hmm. Well, let's pick up that item with our hero, I guess. Maybe next turn. Let's not separate too hard. Oh yeah, and spells. Uh, enchant weapon. Plus two attack, plus one damage, and magic strike. Let's make our hero and also this knight unit more powerful. Uh, enchanted weapon. Yeah, so that's going to increase our accuracy. Not that they really need it, but for the hero, the stats were lower, so that helps the hero more. And yeah, the AI not really doing anything. I don't expect the AI to be doing much of anything. And uh, I guess we'll just attack here. Draw off these ballistae. Interesting that it targeted the one at the back. Shoot Javelin, fires a Javelin, which is 18 and 10, so significantly more powerful. Uh, you have Blurred. Uh, oh, that's melee. I thought it would be uh, range defense. I can teleport once for battle. Okay. Well, this is the strongest enemy, so let's just shoot it. Yeah, stats are significantly higher. Hmm. Fire pistol, also pretty strong. One damage. Okay, we are definitely losing units here. This is uh, really bad. Backed. Oh. Cannot cast outside your domain. Okay. Well, we're... Okay, you can see that first strike coming in here. Ninety-five, come on. Hit for ten. Hmm. Oh, there's a structure there. Ah. Can't. Can't taunt or fire pistol if we're not in, in the green. And that's a runaway with you. Hopefully not have you die. So if we're still in the green, yeah, we can. So fire pistol, 60%. Taunt. Taunted, uh, we'll only attack this unit, sure. Yeah, the swashbuckler is kind of fun. It's, uh, as I was saying earlier with the nautical theme for the humans, it's, uh... Okay, I still can't use a range. Uh, it's just kind of a, a fun unit to have, you know, taunt and pistol on your tier 2. For either of you, you have, you have experience. Let's go. Or not. Right, it's blurred. It's blurred. Chance to avoid melee. Oh my god. Just 
Could have just shot it. Well, losing one Halberdier for that was uh, well worth it. Yeah, could migrate, but don't really have any reason to do a Builder's Hall. I don't know, I'm just kind of assuming I'm going to want to be building in all of my cities, but that may not be the case. Uh, anyway, that, that is an hour, and as you can see, we've already basically cleared half the map, uh, including conquering one of the enemy's starting cities. So I'd say this is going pretty well. It's probably not going to take me too long to get through these scenarios, honestly. At least the first few. I mean, it is the very first mission of the campaign, after all. So you can't expect it to be too difficult. Uh, but that's where we'll, we will be calling it for now, and uh, we'll continue with this next time. I will see you then.